time to talk sports. It's actually time to talk Dodger baseball. The Dodgers just wrapping up their second game in the Seoul series in Korea. And Anthony Vasquez joins us now talking more about that. Literally just I'm ended excited. a few moments yeah. ago. Yeah. Literally we also, a few minutes ago. Yeah, we also have a special analyst here to talk about the season as well. But Anthony, let's talk about what we just saw. Again, this game just wrapping up just a moment ago. Yeah, game just wrapped up. Yoshinobu Yamamoto drew the start. Probably not the best of starts for him, if we're right. being completely honest right here. He only got through one inning. Um, as for the uh, Dodgers offense, they showed up though. They Scoring did. 11 runs. They did, yeah. There was a little nugget though that I saw in the ninth inning. This is the most runs they've scored in a loss this century. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. It's also the most runs the Padres have scored against the Dodgers all time. Oh, okay. So, there 15 you go. 15 runs. That's, that's, 15. A, that's a lot. That is. Um, yeah. let's, let's show the highlights. The game just wrapped up right now. Padres just got the 15 11 win. It did not start very well for Yoshinobu Yamamoto. He gave up five earned runs in just one inning of work. Granted, he has a lot to get used to being an MLB pitcher, but it's it's probably not the best of starts for him, if we're being honest. Right. Um, so Jake Cronenworth gets the scoring started for San Diego. It's 5-1 after one inning. Then they bring in Michael Grove, and it's more of the same for the San Diego offense. They strike for four more in the third inning. At this point, it's 9-2 San Diego. Dodgers score four in the bottom of the third, and thanks to Mookie Betts, Home run. Well, not quite. He hit one off the wall. He does hit well, one yeah. later, though. Yeah, he hit a home run later. Um, but Mookie Betts does score a run right here. Four mm -hmm. at this point in the bottom of the third. It's 9-2-6. And there's that home run. And there's that home run right there. There's that trademark Mookie swing. Out of here to left field. It's 10-8. Hey, San Diego. Here come the Dodgers, but uh, here's another Mookie Betts hit. At this point, this I, I heard you guys in the studio. You guys were, <laughs> oh, we were. We were, we were really yelling here. Oh, yeah. Two-run score here. It's 12-11. Uh-oh, San Diego. Here comes the Dodgers, but uh, not quite. Because right after that, Shohei Otani comes up. Tie run in scoring position, and he mm. rolls over to first base. And the Dodgers end up losing this one 15-11. Manny Machado, um, he tacks on a three-run homer to make yeah. it 15-11. Yeah, so unfortunately the Dodgers dropped this one, but uh, I just have to ask you, you know, Anthony, we just saw the two games, the two first games of the season. Mm -hmm. What has it been like? What have you, I mean, and again, these games happening obviously in the middle yeah. of the night for us, right? So for Dodger fans who probably weren't watching this, those first two games that are part of the regular season, yes. what are some of the things that really stood out to you? Um, I would say the offense. Yeah. Scoring 11 runs is perfect. Um, they really bounce back after not so great performance right. in game one. Um, another thing that stood out is the pitching, basically. Game one, Tyler Glasnow, a little bit of a struggle. Um, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, a little bit of a struggle as well, but once again, you're playing in Korea the right. first games of the year. That's not an easy task. And it's also kind of weird because then we go back to spring training. So yeah. the team is coming back weird. to California here, and they're going to play the Angels this weekend. And those are spring training games, which is kind of, kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, Eli, let's talk about what you think because so much has happened of course in the off season and I know that you were really excited for the signing of Shohei Otani. So what tell me why you're so excited about this season? Well, because Shohei Otani is a powerhouse and he can really hit home runs. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you most excited for this season? Um just home runs from yeah. the show. Yeah, home runs. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's an easy answer, yeah. right? But yeah. next season, if he pitches, yeah. I'm really expi excited, excited about, about that. that. Yeah. yeah. Do you like him as a pitcher or a hitter more? What do you What do you like about him? Um, hitting. Hitting. Yeah. I, I agree. We got yeah. We got to see him hit a home run when he was with the Angels. So. Oh really? Okay. Now we're we're rooting for him on the Dodgers. Yeah. Okay. So now I also have to ask you. What have you done to convince your mom to be this like hardcore Dodger fan now? Because what I have seen is that you have actually influenced her in becoming a, a big fan. So what have you done? All I really did was cheer for the Dodgers <laughs> and <laughs> right in front of her. So. Yeah. And, <laughs> and watch games excited. all the time at yeah. home, right? And make sure I watch the, the outtakes or whatever they're called. Yeah. Plays. Yeah. I think that's for it. <laughs> hey, Anthony, before we go, sure. um, also because I know that there's still a lot of uh, injuries, of course, that we've been course, following. Yes. Because I, I was thinking, we were talking about it today. What about like Walker Bueller and, and some of these other pitchers? He's expected to be back, I would say, June at the earliest. Okay. Um, Bruce Star Gratterall has that shoulder issue. Uh, a lot of pitchers are hurt right now for the Dodgers, but come midsummer, I, I would say oh, okay. they should be on the mound. All, right. All right. You want to say, let's go, Dodgers, to cheer us on?
Let's go Dodgers. All right. Yeah. 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 Baseball season. Anthony, thank you so much appreciate for coming it, in. Guys. We appreciate thanks. it. Thanks. All right. Thanks so much for joining us for 17 News at Sunrise.